Ahero. My name is Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming. If you guys enjoyed this channel, by all means, a free way to support it. Just hit the subscribe button, punch the like, and go ahead and kick the bell button in the face. Those three things, best way to support the channel. And it's for absolutely free. I do appreciate you watching. Let's get into today's topic. The top 10 decks from Star City Games Classic. This took place over this last weekend in Dallas. Let's cover the top 10 decks. We're going to go over them rather quickly. And as you guys are going to notice, uh, there's a pattern here. I want to know your thoughts on this pattern. And uh, is this one reason you don't like playing in Standard? Got a Golgari deck. This is number. This is the 10th place deck at Star City Games Classic. Took place 10-21-2018. Uh, so it's this past weekend. Number uh, His first creature, Carnage Tyrant. Two Doom Whisperers. Two Druid of Cowls. Just a little bit of that ramp. Three Golgari Fine Brokers, no surprise there. Same with the Jade Light Ranger, four of those. Four Lanoir Elves, four Revis Chupacabras, just always appearing. This thing will continue to appear in decks until it's rotated out of standard. One Tense District Guard, one Azani, Thousand Eyed. Two Vivian Reeds, one Vraska Golgari Queen, three Vraska Relic Seekers. Four Assassin's Trophy, is there a surprise there? Is anyone surprised by that? Absolutely not. Four Vraska's Contempt. Two find and finalities, and the sideboard he's got some uh, extra carnage tyrants. And I this I like this guy's deck a lot, especially with the carnage tyrants, because this is where any counter decks will get messed up. Any of their little little counter spells uh, just get defeated by carnage tyrant. Uh, two dead eye trackers, uh, four jade light rangers. Uh, how is that in the sideboard? I guess maybe he was just going to swap them back and forth. I'm assuming. I think that was a mistake, perhaps. Two dead weights, three moment of craving, two Roscoe's contempt, three golden demise. So as you see, that's the number ten deck. Let's get into number nine. <clears throat> Hal Brady created this Abzan mid range. What do you know? Isn't is that jade light ranger again appearing for the second appearance? Oh my goodness! Knight of Autumn times two, two crawl harpooners for Merfolk branch walker. Not no surprise there either to see that card. Four wild growth walkers, four Tristani. Discordance. Pretty interesting deck there with the Abzan. Uh, Ixalan's Binding times two, four Path of Discoveries, which whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it, it explores. Pretty cool card. Three March of the Multitudes. Could you imagine when March of the Multitude hits the battlefield after you have a Path of Discovery out? That's game over. <laughs> you are bumping up all your creatures like crazy. He is running the Immortal Sun. <laughs> Bravo, son. Bravo. Hats off, Mr. Brady. You did it. You did it. You made the top nine using the Immortal Sun in the main. That is amazing. Good, good job. Three find and finalities. So it's a very powerful card, guys. This deck, I would imagine, once it gets going, it just overwhelms the opponent because uh, of all the card draw ability and plus one, plus ones. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, Chaos One on the sideboard. Uh, the Scavenger, of course. Um, Hatchery Spider. Kind of surprised to see that. Knight of Autumn. Uh, two Remorseful Clerics, Settle the Wreckage, Duress. I don't think we're going to go too crazy and cover all these uh, land bases, because uh, we do have a lot of decks to cover here. So that is Hal Brady's ninth place finish. And then we move into eighth place. Oh, what do you know? In the main, uh, Jet P Pincard. Pincard is running two Carnage Tyrants, two Golgari Fine Brokers. It's a little different. Again, four Jade Light Rangers. Four Jade Light Rangers. Yes, uh, this is Golgari, everyone. This is Golgari mid-range. Now, I think you're understanding why Jade Light Rangers is worth so much money. Uh, Merfolk Branch Walker. Is this worth a little bit? But it, it should be worth a buck at least, I would imagine, because it's played in a lot of decks. The Midnight Reaper. Glad to see him appear. That was one of my favorite cards from the new Guilds of Ravnica, which I haven't even put in deck yet because I'm that crazy. Uh, Plague Crafter. Really cool card. Three Ravenous Chupacabras. Four Seekers. Running two cards in the main. Two Vivians and two Vraska's Relic Seekers. Notice the other Vraska is getting kicked over either to the sideboard or just not even in the deck at all. So this Vraska Relic Seeker is really seeing a lot of play. Two Assassin's Trophies, two Cast Downs, one Vraska's Contempt, and three Find and Finality. And here's the sideboard. Just pause it, take a screenshot, why not? So that's our eighth place finish. Good job, Jet. Uh, seventh place, Noah Blankard. He is running, again, Gilgari Midrange. You guessed it. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. So he's got the Glow Spore Shaman, a little different. Two Golgari Fine Brokers. Four Jade Light Rangers, no different there. The four Merfolk Branch Walkers. Mulder Hulk, really neat card. The spell costs one less to cast for each card in your graveyard. It's a 6-6. Six, six. When Mulder Hulk enters the battlefield, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Neat card. He's running four of them. That's that's crazy, but that's what he's doing. Um, four, uh, two of the Plague Crafters, three Ravidus Chupacabras, one Seeker's Squire. Four Stitcher Supplier, one Thrashing Brown on Azani, Thousand Eyes. So as you can see, the Stitcher Supplier combos really nicely. 
um, with uh, quite a few cards in here, but like the, the Molder Hulk and then Glowsporn Shaman's nice as well because uh, it's dumping cards off too. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool deck. I'm surprised to see Thrashing Brown in here, but then again, I guess I'm not. Uh, there's the Land Base. Necrotic Wound. He's running two copies and a fine and finality. Seventh place finish. Let's go to sixth. Sixth is Asper Control with Dylan Kirkpatrick. One Dream Eater. One Chromium the Mutable. It's nice to see another deck besides uh, anything running green uh, to take a, a top place finisher. Fari Hero of Dominaria. Two Cast Downs. Four Chemistry's Insights. A Disdainful Stroke. Essence Scatter. Three Moment of Craving. A Negate. Sinister. Ooh, I like the artwork on that. Sinister Sabotage times four. And two Syncopates with four Vraska's Contempt. Two Search for Escantas. And three Ritual of Soot. So that was the deck that took sixth place. What do you know? If it isn't Boros Angels, appearing in fifth place, a Danto Vanguard, uh, Knight of Grace, four Resplendent Angels, two Tuck Tali Honor Guard. Cool card. Creatures enter the battlefield, don't cause ability to trigger. Not bad. Really exemplar of justice. Lyra Dawnbringer, Chalet Voice of Plenty, a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. So this would kind of combat a Golgari deck a little bit. Uh, Conclave Tribunal, four History of Benalias, two Justice Strikes, two Lightning Strikes, and three Deafening Clarion. That was fifth place. Let's go to fourth. Fourth place, Justin Rousey. The old control builds. Three Blood Operatives, four Doom Whispers, two Dream Eaters, one Night Veil Predator. Love that card. Glad he used it. Four Disinformation Campaigns, two Eldest Reborns. Cool to see him up there. Two Cast Downs, a Disdainful Stroke, two Fungal Infections, two Moment of Cravings, four Vraska's Contempt, two Discoveries, two Ritual of Soot, four Thought Overshares. All these decks I've played, and let me tell you, man, some of these decks are just a pain in the butt. It really depends on the matchup, if you're going to win or not, depending on the deck you have against uh, the other deck. And yeah, that sounds really basic. I get it. Yeah, I'm a great announcer. Uh, but really, it does. I mean, you can't run certain decks against certain decks and expect you're going to kick their butt. You're going to really be, get blasted against the wall, so... There's that. Three Adanto Vanguards. This is Alex Han with his Boros midrange. It's cool to see that. Three Knight of Grace. This is the third place finish. Four Rekindling Phoenix. Four Resplendent Angels. Four Tactali Honor Guard. I played this deck over the weekend, too. Two Aurelia Exemplar of Justice. Three Lyra Dawnbringers. Two Conclaves. Four Histories. Justice Strike. And Lightning Strike times three. A Johnny Adversary of Tyrants as well. Pretty, pretty neat. That's the third place finish. So let's go into our second place finish. Mono Red Aggro. We've, of course, why would it not be in the top five, right? This is a second place finish. James Sung uh, with his one dire fleet daredevil, two dismissive pyromancers, times four of the goblin chain whirlers, a legion war boss, and four rekindling phoenixes, four runaway steamkins, one siege gang commander, and three varix blade wings. And the spells he's running is three Experimental Frenzies, four Lightning Strikes, two Sheevan Fires, four Shocks, and one Lava Coil. Cool, Lava Coil made it. Now, 24 Basic Mountains, bada bing. Could he have gotten away with 23? Probably, but he probably did not have placed second. Good job, James. Let's see what our number one deck is. Oh, you all guessed it. Golgari Midrange took the cake here. This one running three Doom Whisperers, two Golgari Fine Brokers, Four Jade Light Rangers, four Lana War Elves, four Merfolk Branch Walkers, only three Ch Ravenous Chupacabras, three Seeker Squires, three Wild Growth Walkers, two Assassin's Trophies, and the Find and Finality. This deck looks a lot more familiar to the deck that I had built um, for the one, uh, what was that guy's name? Oh, God, I can't remember for the life of me. But yeah, it was the deck that was just wrecking everything. This deck looks a lot familiar to the deck. Uh, check out my Golgari mid-range deck tech build, and uh, you'll see the similarities are ridiculous. I think I have the Wild Gross in the sideboard, though. Pretty cool. Uh, two Carnage Tyrants, of course. Got to have them in the sideboard against certain matchups. Uh, Eldest Reborn, Assassin's Trophy, Moment of Craving, Vraska's Contempt. Two Vraska's, Golgari Queens, Duress, and Defined. Very neat deck. Very cool. It made number one. Maxwell Jones, congratulations. You are the king of the weekend, my friend. Uh, and there's the lands, of course. Overgrown tombs are on 23, four woodland cemeteries, seven swamps, eight forests. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all this. I mean, these are the top decks. They are the numero uno top ten decks of the Star City Games Classic in Dallas. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. I hope Golgari gets their butt kicked off the top because they have one, two, three, 
four places in the top 10. That's a lot, guys. So hopefully if someone can brew up something, maybe it'll be you. Maybe it'll be me. I don't know. But we got to brew up something that can kick the crap out of this Golgari mid-range deck because it is just devastating standard right now. It is just annihilating standard. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure um, always hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, by all means, please do. If you enjoy the content, great way to support the channel for free. PLA.